All right, what you just saw in the time lapse was the initial cuts to length of five two by sixes, and they're each eight feet long. As they come, uh, when I buy them, they're about maybe an eight, eight foot and maybe a quarter inch over eight foot. So I wanna make them all exactly the same length. So that's why I'm using uh, the uh, miter saw here. And you'll notice that I did two cuts. The first cut on one end, I just trim a little bit off the end just to have a square end to begin with. And then I'll flip the board around. And that's when I measure the eight feet exactly and then draw a line on that one and cut those so I now have five eight foot long exact exactly eight feet long boards and these are going to be the boards that are going to lay every four feet along the the work area with a sheet of plywood over the top of each one so the plywood will go lengthwise eight feet long this way and it will be four feet wide that way all right the next step is to cut some of the longer pieces these are the 10 feet long so i'm going to cut some of the two by sixes that are 10 feet long now and get them to be exactly 10 feet long All right, as I was making the last video, I was thinking that I sure thought there was supposed to be six of the eight feet long two by sixes because I'm gonna have five pieces of plywood, five times four, four feet wide each, that gives the 20 feet. Uh, so if each one gets a two by six, I need one more for the end. So I should have six of them, but they weren't in my stack. So I got a bit confused there, and then I sat down here to think about it for a moment, and I noticed one more piece of two by six down here that I put underneath some of the, uh, the marine plywood. When I loaded up the marine plywood, I ran out of room on my lumber cart, so I started stacking some of the plywood on the floor. I didn't want to put it directly on the floor, so I put it on top of this uh, two by six and I think that is my missing uh, eight foot long two by six so it should have been planed on one side uh, but it's not been run through the uh, it's not been run through the table saw to cut it down to five inches wide so I'll do that later uh, you know I'm gonna start uh, building the platform as it is I'll get some of this plywood moved out of the way because this is the sheathing plywood that's going to go on top of the platform. So as I'm making this platform, I should be able to start moving some of this plywood and eventually I will be able to uncover this missing 2x6 down here and finish off the end of the platform. And as far as cutting it in half, I think what I'll do is make a 12 foot long section and an 8 foot long section and that's where it will be dividable so um, you know they'll be attached together but I'll make it so that those two can separate uh, so it's a, it, at least it's a little bit more manageable um, so that I don't have this 20 foot long platform uh, forever and then the only thing I could do with it is either take the whole thing apart or or you know live with the 20 foot long platform so having a 12 and a 4 foot is a little bit more manageable so that is the plan and I'm glad that I uh, found my missing 2 by 6 down here
All right, I have six pieces of 10 foot long two by sixes all cut to exactly 10 feet long. And right now I have five pieces of two by six cut eight feet long. And the reason there are six 10 foot long is because, well, two of them together will form the 20 foot. And then on each side, on the outside of those, will be a third one so three on each side the third one will be in the middle and it will be used to reinforce the join of the two so that it doesn't bend at the joint so it'll be screwed in uh, five foot down one side and five foot down the other side right in the middle of the two um, so right in the middle of the 20 foot long platform now I'm running out of room to build this whole thing uh, because over here I've been shifting wood around but over here I have all of the red cedar and some 2 by 4s and I need this 20 foot from the garage door all the way back behind this pile of wood and I've been moving this pile of wood back and forth so many times you saw in the time lapse just now I had to move all these two by fours so what I'm thinking is I'm going to start down here where the floor is fairly clean and build a 10 foot section get a couple sheets of the sheathing plywood laid on it and then I should be able to move all of this lumber over here and stack it up on the platform down here so that I can build the other 10 foot section uh, for the platform. So that's the plan. As far as how it's going to divide later for taking it apart, I don't know yet. I, I think I'll just have to deal with that as it, as I come to it I'll just make sure that whatever it is is not joined permanently you know it's not going to be so easy to take the two pieces apart so my goal would be you know undo a few of the screws take some boards off and the two sections should split apart um, you know it's not so easy but you know it's not impossible either but as far as exactly how that will be uh, worked out right now I don't know I'll mention it along the way as as I start building this and get more um, in the moment then I think I'll, I'll be able to come up with a, an idea or a plan for how these this platform can be broken apart later so the next step is to start joining some of these and figuring out where to put the two by fours you'll notice I did not cut the two by fours to any particular length I'm planning on fitting those in as needed uh, wherever they're needed so I'm not sure yet where those are going to go I know that some of them will need to be placed uh, strategically to support the uh, swivel casters and um, I've got that I, I put it underneath my workbench, but I've got this uh, two by four. Um, I forget. I think it might be a ten foot long two by four um, that has bowed significantly to the point that I didn't even try to plane it. It bowed by about three inches. All of the other boards, after sitting and acclimating in my garage for a few weeks, they bowed maybe you know uh, a quarter inch or so, but. There was one of them that bowed by about three inches. So, you know, there's no way to plane that down without losing half the board anyway. So I may cut that one up into pieces. And as long as they're shorter pieces, it's still a usable board. And use that to apply in various places where the feet, or I shouldn't say the feet, where the, the swivel casters will be placed uh, to give them something to mount to. All right, so let me do a little bit of planning and start um, screwing some boards together, and I will come back and show you what I've done in just a moment. 
Well, the first joint in the platform is done. This corner right here, I'm joining it together with some uh, three inch Spax uh, multi-purpose screws. I like these because the head is a, uh, what is like a, a star shape. Um, it's a T20 plus drive and I'm pre-drilling the holes and I wanted to show you this because this is kind of important. I'm offsetting the 2x6x10 foot that runs along the side. I'm raising it up by putting it on a little strip of uh, plywood because when the plywood sheathing comes along, it's going to sit on top of these eight foot long two by sixes and it will come right up against the edge two by six. And I want this here to be flush all along there once it's, once it's in place. So now it's just a matter of going along and putting uh, some more uh, two by six, eight foot two by sixes along uh, coming this way. Now this one will be aligned so that the plywood sheathing will come out to the very edge. But the other uh, two by sixes, they need to be centered on the seam of the plywood to give it, I think that'll give it the most support if they're centered. So um, this one I'll need to put uh, four feet from the end of this one um, will be the center of the next one over here. All right, the second uh, two by six is screwed into the longer two by six that goes down the side. And I made a mark exactly four feet from the very end or the corner over there here so that this board lines up uh, mostly centered on that mark and I'm countersinking these screws I probably should have countersunk the ones down there as well but they won't matter that much they're sticking out just a little bit but I don't want anything sticking out here on this side that would interfere with another board that would come along here that will supply support to, do, to join this 10 foot two by six with the one that comes next to it. I had to move some of the plywood sheathing just to make room uh, to be able to get my drill uh, back behind here to be able to, to pre-drill the holes. And I wanted to show you this, if you need to move any type of full sheet plywood this is a very handy tool to have um, I'm not sure if there's a name on this one but I always know them as just a like a panel handle or a panel grabber or something like that it just has a hook on this end and a handle to grip onto it and it's curved out a bit to give your hand room to grab it without getting pinched between you know here and the the plywood and all it really does is it enables you to put this here for instance and then you'd lift up the plywood and set it on top of this little shelf right here and then you have a handle that you can grab from the middle of the plywood and with your hand coming up to the top here and grab so one hand on the top here and one hand down there it gives you just enough room to be able to pick up these sheets of uh, full sheets of plywood and move them around because they're very difficult to move by one person without uh, some type of little handle like that all right, so I think this will be enough of the video for now. I will go ahead and get this all put together and posted. And construction, we can officially say that construction on the, um, the platform has started to take shape. Um, I mean, you know, construction actually began the moment I started planing these boards, but you know, we can say it's actually starting to take shape now. All right, that's enough for now, bye.